Hey guys, my name is Blake. This is Hound Hogs Barbecue, and today I'm going to teach you how to make some good homemade mama and daddy style mashed potatoes. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so the first step in this is probably the worst part. Uh, we're going to peel these mashed potatoes. Me, personally, I really like my mashed potatoes to be creamy. I don't really like the chunks of the skin being in there. That's up to you. Uh, but we're going to start by peeling these. We're going to boil them and get them nice and soft. Then we're just going to mash them up. I'm just going to show you Mom and Daddy's recipe. I've been eating these potatoes like this for over 20 years, probably. Uh, so it's going to be a really good recipe, but let's get to it. So I personally... Now, these are not that way, but I like to kind of find the ones that are extra big uh, because they're easier to peel. I have definitely been using this peeler before and had my finger out past the end and took a chunk of my finger off right at the end. Uh, so definitely be careful with that. What I'm going to use this pan for is just to kind of catch these potato peelings here. And then, you know, barbecue outdoor cooking is a labor of love. And so if you want to provide a high quality mashed potato, you're going to sit out here and you're going to peel these things. Just put you some music on, have a friend talking to you, whatever you gotta do. Uh, but this is gonna make those things nice and creamy and give you that really good just presentation on that Thanksgiving plate. Alright, so uh, most of the potatoes came out good. Um, they're going to get rinsed off when they're boiled. We did have this one really weirdly shaped one. That's not really good for anything. <sighs> the dogs will eat that one later. Hey, that almost made it out of the fence. I still got it. That's all I'm saying. Alright, so uh, next steps. We've got the potatoes done. I'm going to kind of chop them up into smaller pieces to help them cook a little more evenly. We're going to just boil them in water. Usually they take about 15-20 minutes once they're boiling and then we're going to get to season them. So let's get this pot ready. Alright guys, so honestly, did I need to use this big of a fryer for this many potatoes? Not really, but you're not going to get much faster than uh, this, uh, what is this called, this Jet Loco uh, propane burner. And we're cooking outside anyways, we've got a turkey on over here, some sides on over here, so it's just more fun to be out here, but you can just do this on your stove top at home. So. You can either do it like me and just have some fun outside, or you can recreate this just with a pot on your stove. All right, so the potatoes boiled. Once the water started boiling, it was about 20 minutes. Um, so they're good and soft. The way you test them is you just kind of take a fork or something and you press them up against the side and if they squish, they're good. Uh, you don't want to overdo it because then they just become mush. So first thing you want to do is you want to go with butter. You can never have too much butter. Well, that's the philosophy I go with here. Um, I'm assuming I'm probably going to put both these sticks in here. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and put both these sticks in here. So just kind of break them up because you want to get those melted first before your potatoes really start to cool down. Alright, so you get the butter in there and you just want to kind of start mashing them up before you really start blending it. So 
I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper here. Let's give that a good little mix. Remember, we're still trying to let that butter melt for a second. And then, this is what we're using today. It's the uh, All Cued Up Bayou Bandit. You're gonna figure one thing out about me. I really love Creole kind of seasonings. And so, I like to go pretty heavy with this stuff in here. You can always add more, especially when it comes to the milk. So the milk is what's supposed to make it kind of creamy. Usually I use whole milk. Uh, this is all we could find. Um, but you want to add just a little bit and then kind of mix it in because if you over add it they'll become mushy. Alright so you see how it's still pretty chunky? That's how I know there's not enough milk in here. You can use buttermilk if you want it's just not something I ever did so if it ain't broke don't fix it. Two of my favorite things, mashed potatoes and rice. And those taste just like mama made them. So that's it for this recipe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment below. Uh, you know, you guys can find everything that we've been using in our videos this Thanksgiving season on our website, houndhogsbbqsupply.com. But other than that, guys, we want to encourage you to go out, turn ideas into realities, get out there and cook something new. We'll see you later. Some good homemade mama and daddy style mashed potatoes. Let's get to it. Shoulders have to do what they just did. I guess that's what I think of.